Hey, what is up guys? So I got the new Amaterasu in action here as a replay file. We got three replays to check out, but it's a really unique card. And uh, it's basically a, a spirit card that kind of rechecks the game uh, if you are able to pull off its effect. It can definitely win you some games just on the card alone. But mixing it with Monarchs, you have a very easy way to summon it. So first off, let me go ahead and just grab it out of this guy's deck from Young Teriyaki over here. Uh, so Amaterasu's effect, let me just want to read it over here while the Ghost Trick player is going to be going off. The Ghost Trick player throws up so many cards that does not let his opponent play for a long time. But it doesn't matter because once this card comes out, uh, a lot of decks can't deal with it as easy as some other decks. Like, obviously, yeah, there's going to be some decks that are able to, like, destroy this uh, as long as they don't target it. So it is a level 9 monster with 3,000 attack and defense. And it is uh, cannot be normal summon or special summon. During either player's uh, turn, uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this face down card, you can change this card to face up defense position, draw one card. If this card is flipped face up, banish all cards on the field other than this card once per turn during the end phase. If this card was flipped face up this turn, return to the hand. Because it is a spirit. Uh, there's not very many spirit decks uh, out there in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now that are seeing very much play. So it's kind of cool to see this back in action. It's got a pretty good effect, you know, banishing all cards except for itself. And then on top of that, uh, you know, it's got 3,000 defense. And most decks don't have a real quick, uh, make a large beater to go ahead and tack over it. Uh, other than, like, Utopia. But if you're in the EU, then, you know, you're good to go because that card doesn't exist. But uh, this card can be absolutely devastating in the game. I'm here to bring some replays and share with you guys and show you guys it in action of how good this card is. I mean, the Ghost Trick player had, like, one day at peace. He's got Gravity Mine. He just crushed card. He's got the Skeleton combo. He's already banished 16 cards. You're thinking, how does he come back? Well... All he needs is the one Amaterasu, and it absolutely destroys Ghost Tricks, as you guys will see right here. What's funny is he actually had a uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, and it comes in very clutch. So he's managing more cards, he activates a, a Ghost Trick Angel Mischief, and then he's going to go ahead and boost his card's attack, but it gets Scrap Iron Scarecrow. And then during the end phase, all Ghost Tricks go face down. It's pretty much irrelevant. All that matters is Amaterasu flips up, gets its effect, he activates this card, which is pretty much irrelevant, but it banishes everything. And then he has a clear board, but then he attacks and a Jack Frost puts it back face down. So it does not actually get banished during the end phase. Or, I'm sorry, return to the hand during the end phase. But he still has the ability to reuse this card. Like, Ghost Tricks, like, they flip things face down. Amaterasu is like, great, I'm gonna flip up, I'm gonna activate my effect again. And the guy just quits at that point, because he's like, okay, I can't flip this thing face down, it's gonna screw me over once again. But that is Amaterasu. But I got a few more other replays to show you guys in action, and just interaction in between other decks, because I think the card effect is amazing. And especially when you go Idea and Eidos, and then you can go ahead and a tribute both to set the card. So it's a tribute set. So that's why it can't be normal summoned, uh, but it can be normal set. So uh, Pot of the Forbidden is also a decent card uh, as a target for a two tribute because you can see this Blue Eyes player attacks into it. And uh, unfortunately, it's just too weak, man. Blue Eyes, not even strong enough. But he's got double Blue Eyes right now on board. But he's going to go ahead and summon an idea. And then that gets Solemn Striked. So unfortunately, negated idea. He's going to go ahead and have to pass it to his opponent. But then he goes ahead and makes the. Uh, Twin Burst Dragon, and then Gospel of Rival, bringing back the Blue Eyes, and then he's going to go ahead and attack this, and this card has the effect that um, at, at the end of the damage step, an opponent's most ballot monster is not destroyed, you can banish it, so a rip in the pod tabbies, but it goes ahead, goes for the idea, Eidos, and then the Amaterasu, that's such a good play, and then Book of Taiyu to immediately flip it up, so it banishes all the cards, 3,000 directly, then right back to his hands, so a lot of great, great uh, recyclability uh, with this card, but again, the problem that you can run into is that it is a tribute too, you might not have options for that, so he's going to go ahead and spell summon a blue eyes right there, and he's going to go ahead and attack, and I believe at that point it was game because he couldn't put any targets with uh, burst reverse. But um, that was really good, man. Uh, that was a really awesome uh, little play there. Even though like he didn't uh, win the game, it was still cool just to see it in action. So next up we have the Aratama over here. So uh, this card cannot be special summoned. It's another spirit. So during the end phase, uh, the turn this card was normal or flipped face up. You got to return it to the hand. When this card is normal uh, or flipped face up, you can add one spirit monster from your deck to your hand except for Aratama. So at this point, you're able to add whatever you want, any spirit monster. That's an insane effect. Although this guy is not very strong, uh, we're not really looking for that. He's just there essentially as a searcher. And then you have Sukiyomi, which at one point got unbanned because uh, this card was uh, banned for a long time. They went to one, and everyone's like, wait, 
it ain't even really that good. So, but some people were using it. It wasn't a bad like other like card just to negate an effect, but nonetheless he's gonna go ahead and, and banish the uh, Eidos, summon the idea, summon another Eidos, and then he's gonna tribute both for a Amaterasu and then flip a face up, once again banishing that light ray deal. But he already banished some other cards over there. The great thing to banish the breakthrough skill. This card unfortunately isn't really good at protecting itself though. Um, I mean I know it has that potential to uh, be able to uh, you know uh, be targeted and then at that point that's pretty much the game ogre I guess. Uh, I don't know if the replay actually aired out but uh, once he made this he can't uh, really do anything with this because his whole deck needs to rely on them attacking. I know he had the book of Tayu but uh, I don't know again if the replay aired out but that is the card in action. Let me know, guys, what you think about it. I think it's a really cool card, but it's just not strong enough to compete with some of the stuff in the meta. But we might get some more support to actually bust out this card. Because there are a lot of other great spirit cards, like Nikitama over here, that has the effect that um, you can normal summon another spirit monster. So that could be like, summon uh, this, and then summon this, add, and then on top of that, you can go for a rank 4 add the spirit monster or you tribute both of these and go straight into the Amaterasu. So that's the Amaterasu in action guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on the card and if you guys know any other combo pieces that would work well in this like the Idea, Idea, Eidos. I think that's a great combo piece just because it has a lot of recyclability. Very awesome stuff indeed. So thanks for signing this replay Teriyaki. Thanks you guys for watching. Make sure you guys give that like button a titty slap and I'm signing out.